understand and retain the importance of that kind of love and bond that you're talking about. You don't really feel it as a teenager. Teenagers just want to get fucked and screwed up. As I did, but it's all I did. Drink, play music, girls. <laughs> Pretty boring life in the end. I guess if you don't do it, you don't know. Right. Well, I think I... You had really uh, sensible questions. Well, thank you. They were good questions. Thank you. They weren't, uh, yeah. Interviews become labor intensive sometimes. Right. So you, you probably get a lot of the same questions over and over again. Yeah. Questions about a veil. People like, don't ask on? me about a veil really? much anymore. I just, it's like flogging a dead horse. Nobody asks me, like, why I stopped being in a veil or why. She's like, you know, like, really? He's still singing a punk band in almost 40 years ago. <laughs> I just don't see that uh, being relevant. Like, you're here where you are right now. Yeah. Not, not. You know what's funny? You know, you got those friends from high school or you got, you know, old buddies, and they all want to just reflect about what they used to do. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. It's not in me. I don't ever think back on things that I used to do. I think about what's coming next. Like, I'm thinking about this show and making it to New Mexico tomorrow. And I'm thinking about Australia down the road and some work I'd like to do in the shed and insulating my girlfriend's house. And, you know, like, maybe renovating the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like, like this and that, or what freight trains I want to ride or um, they don't want to spend time with. And, like, then you bump into these people and all they, oh, you remember in 1988 when I was in a band that, was totally irrelevant and, and you're like that's what I don't understand it's like I'm never gonna look back on a veil with any regret but I'm not gonna spend any time really looking back on it <laughs> if that makes sense because it's done it's yeah, already it. that's already passed and like when you get older and, and I'm not I would keep dwelling on age but this is this is relevant because not a lot of people my age play DIY style music in dive bars still to 50 to 300 people a night they gave up they do something else i don't know what's driven me but the way i see it and i was talking to my buddy ken freeman who's been this guy this train rider traveler who's been in the van with us for the last week we're talking about like the effects of age changing the way you look and all this and and i was like i look in the mirror and i don't give a fuck that my hair is going gray and i'm getting wrinkles and you know, like, I don't care about any of this because if I regretted my life and I started getting old, if I never did anything in my life and then I started getting old and I looked at myself, I'd feel pitiful. Like, oh my God, look, I'm changing. I'm getting old and I am boring and I didn't do anything and I would be sad, but I'm like, I fucking have looked at so many mountains and climbed every fucking one of them and gone back down and done it again and then found new ones and did those and I got about a million more ahead of me that I'm going to fuck up and I'm going to keep doing them and then you look at yourself and you're aging and you go it all makes a turn it, comes with the it doesn't matter yeah. this is awesome because I'm not doing anything that I don't want to do I'm doing everything I want to do and if that want becomes wanting to have children that's a new mountain. If that want becomes riding freight trains from Minneapolis to Seattle on the High Line, that's another mountain. If that want happens to be, you know, building a house and settling down, that's another fucking mountain. If that it's a, if it's a fucking another year long tour and another record, it's another fucking mountain. It's not what I should have done, what I used to do. That, that's not how my brain works, and my conversations will never be based on that. So a veil is a thing of the past, and it was a great time. Right. Big-ass fucking mountain <laughs> <laughs> with a bunch of great motherfuckers. <laughs> a band and the people who were coming to the shows. I really like how that, uh, like, what you, what you just explained, that, that's the appeal. You, like, to me, it shows through your music like none of that was surprising that he said that and that's why that's the appeal of that music to me right it's like that's, it's kind of like a like an inspiration you know to 
not sit around and do nothing. You know, yeah. do what you want to do, and then once it's passed, it's passed. But at least he did it. There's a time to lurk on Facebook and play yeah, video games, right. like if that's what you're into. <laughs> but that can't be the only thing you do. What kind of life is that? Boring. <laughs> sit around on a year and spend uh, half your days lurking on Facebook. Which I love to do, man. Oh, it's, it's a <laughs> great time killer. I'm not saying I don't do it. All right, word. I, I just, what time do you think it is? Uh, it's been 27 minutes, so. I don't, I don't mind about the time. time. Yeah, I just wonder what time I'm playing. Hey, I'm going to have a shot of whiskey and a beer. Do you all want to go in? Yeah.